Have a little chat about Virgil van Dijk. Of course we can. Because um, he needs to step up. Yeah. Like a few uh, of them. Needs 100%. to step up in a massive way. Because it's just... Um, he, he looks a shadow of himself. And not, yeah. not even in a footballing sense, in a leadership sort of way. And he's not the only one, but... He's going back to Glasgow tomorrow as a former Celtic player, playing at Ibrox yeah. for Liverpool. He really needs to start stepping up. He he really needs to be aggressive, start dominating early along the ground, be more confident on the ball coming out. We need to see a one eighty from him, don't we? And I don't. I think I think it's that severe. We need to see a one eighty from Virgil van Dijk. Yeah, hundred percent. Because you know, it's as I said, I, I've been quite critical of Trent, and Trent is the one that's getting all the blame. But for me, you know, Virgil van Dijk is the leader of this team. People argue about Jordan Henderson not being the captain and James Milner not being the the valid voice captain. Virgil van Dijk is the real captain of the team. Well, he hasn't been playing that way, and you know. It, the more and more I'm thinking about it, I'm, I'm fucking sick about this World Cup that's on in the middle of the season. Uh, I think I think he's got his eye on that because I can't believe our coaching team are telling him to just give them too much space and not to commit to anything. I think he's playing with a fear that he's going to miss the fucking World Cup. And I could be wrong because it's only a guess. You know what I mean? We're, we're not claiming we, <laughs> we're in the nowhere land. This is just guesswork. But for me, it looks like he's just playing. He's, he's two yards for that back and I know his strength was always that he never committed he waited for the forwards to commit themselves but he's given them too much fucking room now and it's making their life a hell of a lot easier his timing is off by a second the penalties that he's conceding are showing that he's you know he's a little bit off and I just don't think he's a sharp is it down to the uh, uh, delayed reaction to his coming back from his injury did he come back last year in momentum but he was very fucking good last year what we're seeing this year is totally different and I think he, of all of them, is the one. Like Virgil, I'm not very sorry, Mo, I think, needs to sort of start chipping in with goals because it's not that long ago we got saying he's the best player in the world and he's not playing that way now. And Van Dijk is the best player defender in the world and he's not playing that way now. And we need these two especially. Forget about Bash Henderson all we want. Thiago, I think, needs to step up as well. Um, Fabinho needs to step up. Robbo, when he was there, needs to, that needed to step up. Matip needed to step up. But these two are the big boys. Van Dijk and Salah are the two big boys. And they're the ones that we need. We need leadership from Van Dijk and we need goal threat from Mo. And if we don't have that, you know, we've said it for years on this show, it's a machine. And if one part of the machine breaks down, the machine is fucked. And these are the, this is the engine that's going. So hopefully we can get it fixed. 